Hi. Boy, the news just doesn't seem to go away, does it? I'm ready for a break in news. Uh, but it seems like there's always something major going on. And everything just seems to have the potential to really arouse our emotions. Uh, in times like this, we have to remember who we are. Now, if I were to ask you, you know, what is your identity? How would you define your identity? A lot of people would define it in terms of their family. Some would define it in terms of their occupation. And knowing most of you like I do, I would imagine most of you would say, well, I'm a child of God. I'm made in the image of God. I'm saved by the blood of Jesus. And that's who I am. And that would be true, 100% true. And you should be commended for thinking of yourselves that way. I'm wondering... How about people in our culture, in our world, in our own communities who don't see the importance of having a human identity as being defined like that? If they looked at us, what would they think defined us? How do we want to be defined in front of them just in terms of our behavior? I just want to read a few verses to you from Romans chapter 12. These will be verses 9 through 21. I'm not going to elaborate on them much. I just want you to listen to them. And every single detail that Paul gives them, let's allow ourselves to be challenged to do this the very best we can, to ask the Lord's help in being this way, uh, just to the extent that we allow him to lead us to. Uh, it's important. So this is Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 21. Let your love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Bless those who persecute you and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink, for by so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Let's ask the Lord's help to lead us with behaviors that do nothing but show his love. And let's pray that those around us will notice the love that exists, not just in our words, but in our behaviors. Let's do what Paul tells us to do. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for these wonderful words of Paul. His challenge to us is not always easy. Uh, when we see things that we know are wrong, uh, we become angry. 
Uh, when we see people that we know do not love you, we feel the burden. And it's easy to not be what we need to be. So, Father, we ask your help. We ask you to touch our hearts so that we will reflect Jesus to the world. Father, help us to show this true, genuine love to everyone we meet. And I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hope you continue to do well. Can't wait till we can all be together again. God bless.